and Alex Wall gets us underway gets Concord Rangers underway the hosts as they take on the Saints travelling from Hertfordshire Concord in a, in a delightful all yellow number while the Saints are wearing their brand new Hummel away strip sponsored by Anti Shikari but Tom Bender's clearance doesn't go far enough and now is Jason Rad on the ball for the hosts it looks to dink past Bender cuts in onto his left and that is always sailing wide of the target it's sent in by Toss and Popo it's right into the heart of the box it's cleared just about by C it comes back and that effort is sliced well wide the Saints are just let off there they just switched off for a second there's Jason Rudd again here playing through the middle he finds Alex Wall on the right he has a low shot and Michael Johnson there makes a smart stop by his near post. That was a good effort from the striker but Michael Johnson was equal to it and now it's a corner for the hosts. He aims it in. It's dealt with by Concord who looked to counter now. Alex Wall flicks it off towards Jason Rudd. And he goes long through the middle towards James Blanchfield, but Michael Johnson there, uh, early off his line. And it's a great bit of goalkeeping by the former Hitchin Town man. Chris Hay searching for Alex Wall. Alex can't get to it. And Michael Johnson claims. But his, his throw is a bit misplaced, and it comes to Alex Wall. And that goes behind for a corner. The officials finally decide. A little mistake from Michael Johnson there. He's let off and that will be set piece for the visitors. And now it's Tossan Popo in his place. He looks for Blanchfield. And he crosses first time. It's over Michael Johnson. It falls to Alex Wall at the back stick. But the striker can't get it under control. And Dave Dijoux is there to hack it out of play. As a very dangerous cross from Blanchfield there and Dijou did really well to get back and hack it behind Dave Dijou is flicked on by Mitchell Weiss towards Sean Jeffers he takes aim with his left foot and his effort is well saved by Chris Haig wasn't really troubling the Concord stopper but the Saints would be glad they've it's a penalty to Concord Rangers Alex Wall goes down under pressure and he's won a spot kick he's run up steps up and he converts it to the right of Michael Johnson and it is 1-0 to Concord Rangers in the 41st minute here at the Aspect Arena. Hey, come on, he finds he's been off the ball, so it comes back to Mitchell Weiss and now it's Menashe on the edge of the box. Controls it with the left, finds Dane Banton, Sean Jeffers here in space, puts on to his right and his low shot is deflected and it comes back to Minash. and he goes wide and the Saints appeal for a penalty or a corner anything they can get but the referee isn't interested that has been a let off for the home side Then the lines up, goes over the wall, and it's not far over the home goal. But Chris Hague was watching it all the way. Chris Hague goes along with his kick. Dave Dijon is there to cut it out. And that is half time in the Aspect Arena. Concord Rangers 1 to Northern City now. Alex Wall's penalty is the only difference between the two sides. 
and Sean Jeffers gets the Saints and the game back underway here at the Aspect Arena. It's currently Concord Rangers 1, St Albans City 0, thanks to Alex Wall's penalty. The Saints was work to do after that first half. It was a, it was a tight, tight opening 45 and the penalty was the only really thing between the two sides. Sends it into the heart of the box. Michael Johnson punches clear. Comes to Blanchfield. There's pills for handball, but his shot is blocked. Manash just about deals with it for now, but here comes Tom Hamfrey, and his cross is over hit and sails over the net. Dangerous little moment for City there. And Tom Bender will take this throw in, and you suspect he will go, go along with it, his trademark. Sends it in. It's flicked on. Comes to Dave Dijoux. He goes for the ambitious overhead kick, but Chris Haig there claims it under pressure from Sean Jeffers. Now Coloxy searches for Zane Banton. That's a brilliant touch from the attacking midfielder. He's into the box here. Cuts onto his right. Looks for Sean Jeffers. And Jeffers, his effort, it's, it's too much on it. And it sails well over the target. And now it's with Jason Rad on the right. His search and cross finds Sam Blackman, who gets a head away, but his looping effort is never causing too much trouble for Michael Johnson, who can easily hold on to it. Dave Dijoux with a quick free kick, he finds Sean Jeffers, who holds the ball up. Jeffers chips it into the box, but it's hacked away by the Concord defender. Pace, he turns, he looks for Sean Jeffers, he can't quite control it, but it comes to Manash Sunday. He gets past one tackle, he's in space, he takes aim, and it's deflected wide. Inches past Chris Haig's far post. Much better from the Saints, and they win a corner. Manash Sunday did really well there. To dink past a tackle and get an effort away and it's just a deflection that took it inches wide and it's sent in towards the city box it's dangerous full James Blanchard here he looks for Alex Wall who has sent his effort well over the target but the linesman's flag was up on the far side the Concord man will still be very disappointed that he somehow managed to sky his strike from there. Searches on the right. Minash Sunday on the edge of the box. He goes back to Dave Diju. Diju goes inside. Jeffers flicks on to Kyron Wiltshire. Kyron Wiltshire's ball across the face of goal towards Zane Banton, but Zane is inches away. And it just defeats and goes past the city attacker. That must have been close, and that was a brilliant move from the Saints. Tom Bender sends this forward. Sean Jeffers looks to compete. Concord managed to deal with it. James Coloxy has, has shown a red card here. A second yellow. From here, it looks like Coloxy had won the ball and won the challenge. The referee took his time to make that decision. And the City players are incredibly angry with this decision. He'll send it towards the City box. Left footed, curls it in. Reaches Alex Wall, but his header is well wide and never troubling Michael Johnson. He'll look for a, a grey shirt. Looks dangerous. Finds Dave Dijoux. And that's a goal for St Albans City! Dave Dijoux nods in. Luke Warner release. Brilliant free kick. And that's a lovely equaliser for St Albans City. In the 78th minute, it was a brilliantly placed header from Dijoux. He met it perfectly. 
put enough power on it and it sailed into the top corner of the net. Bend with the throw in. It's flicked on and it's just oh, just across the face of goal by Inwabuki. Now look dangerous and the Saints are just enjoying another spell of pressure here. Wiltshire looks to switch the play but it's well over hit and Chris Haig comes out to deal with that and launches another Concord attack. Alex Wall flicks it on for Ade Martin and his effort is brilliantly saved by Michael Johnson. Johnson had to be off his line quick and he did really well to tip it wide. That's another corner for Concord and you can just see the danger of those quick goal kicks from the Concord stopper. Chris Hay. Tom Bender with a throw here from the right, the left back. He throws it in deep towards Imabuki. It drops. Jijosa Tishidiku and Chris Hay is there to stop it on the line. Was that the chance for City to snatch three points? Now Concord looks for the counter. Toss and Popo on the right. He whips it in towards Dave Dijoux, who heads clear. <laughs> and that is full time. Concord Rangers 1, St Alban City 1. But of course the Saints have 10 men for so much of that second half following a controversial referee decision. Ian Allen's and his men will be absolutely delighted at that point you have to feel. They've come all the way to Essex, they've come up against a tough Concord side, had some decisions go against them, and they return to Hertfordshire with an important point. So it's all square, and the Saints now face Mickelover in the FA Cup on Tuesday night.